Hi, I'm Jacob Gallucci, and um, right now I'd like to talk about TV shows that I liked when I was a kid. And um, back when I was a kid, I watched a lot of TV. When I was really young, I remember watching a lot of sh a lot of different shows on um, PBS. Here in Chicago, it's um, WTTW Channel 11, and I watched a lot of different shows that were on back then. Um, I watched uh, Barney and Friends um, a lot when I was when I was really young. Um, Sesame Street, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, um, Lamb Chops Play Along, Shining Time Station, Kids Songs. Um, also, um, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? That I loved that show when I was young. Shining Time Station was great. Um, the first Mr. Conductor was Ringo Starr, and that was the that was the first time I ever knew about the Beatles. My mom told me he had been in the Beatles, and I didn't at the time I didn't know who the Beatles were, and she told me who they were. And really, Shining Time Station was my introduction to the Beatles. It's true. And then George Carlin was the second Mr. Conductor, and it's funny that George Carlin was on that show because he's such a raunchy comedian. The fact that he did Shining Time Station is just it's hilarious. It's like the complete opposite of how of how he really was. I mean, it's crazy. And um Kid Songs was a cool show too. Um it was hosted by kids and they sang a, a bunch of different kids like children's songs and popular songs as well and the show was also on video. I watched like all the tapes of it and with Barney I remember watching like the early tapes with uh, Sandy Duncan. Sandy Duncan was the mother I remember and Barney looked different back then. He was darker and he was pointier and he had a deeper voice and he was creepier too. Even creepier then than he was on TV, yes. Uh, Mr. Rogers, I, he was great. Sherry Lewis on Lamb Chops Play Along, she was great. I remember the other puppets on there. Um, well, besides Lamb Chop, there was Hush Puppy and um, Charlie Horse as well. And with Mr. Rogers, I remember a bunch of, of some. I remember a lot of his friends on the show too. I remember um, um, Mr. McFeely, um, Chuck Aber. I remember. I remember like all the puppets in the Land of Make Believe, like King Friday and. Um, but, you know, I what else did I watch? Let's see. Um, on Channel 9, um, WGN in Chicago, I, Chicago, I remember watching the Bozo Show with Bozo and Cookie the Clown, um, Spiffy the Clown, Professor Andy, Wizzo. And that was on in the mornings before the WGN Morning News existed. WGN Morning News began um, on Tuesday, September 6, 1994, and prior to that... Um, well, it's almost 20 years ago now. That's crazy. I remember mornings before the WGM Morning News actually existed. They showed the Bozo Show back then. When I was in kindergarten, I watched the Bozo Show almost every morning before school. Then starting in the fall of 94, um, the Bozo Show was moved to Sundays. It, it became the Bozo Super Sunday Show. On that show, you had Bozo... Um, and then Professor Andy was still there. He he was the, the musician. He always wore like a red suit, and he he played like the synthesizer in the background and everything. And there were new clowns on the show. You had Rusty and two female clowns. It was the first time there had been female clowns on the show. You had Pepper and Tunia. And that show, um, the the Sunday show lasted until like about the early two thousands, and. I remember when the show ended, um, the final episode was in, I think, 2001, and the show had debuted in 1961, so the Bozo Show lasted for 40 years, and the final episode featured Billy Corgan, Billy Corgan of, um, well, Billy Corgan of the Smashing Pumpkins, he performed, um, the old Bob Dylan song, Forever Young, and that was cool to see him perform, it was great, and, um, whatever shows did I watch, um, I watched a lot of old cartoons, um, like um, the like the old Looney Tunes cartoons with Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, um, Sylvester and Tweety, and others. And I watched a lot of the Disney cartoons, like um, like the ones with Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. And I also watched uh, Tom and Jerry a lot, Popeye, um, the Flintstones, the Jetsons. 
I also remember watching the Disney Afternoon on Channel 9 um, on WGN here in Chicago. There were a lot of like Disney-based um, sh cartoon shows on um, on the Disney Afternoon. It was on from I think like about 3 p.m. to 5 p.m. during the week. I remember watching Goof Troop. Goof Troop was awesome. I loved Goof Troop. He had Goofy on the show with his son Max, and Pete was on the show with his son PJ, and he was married um, to Peg. And um, also, their daughter was Pistol, and um, I always thought Peg was a was a ripoff of Peggy Bundy from Married with Children. I think she was based on Peggy Bundy. She looked a lot like Peggy Bundy. She had the red hair, and she looked like Peggy Bundy. And Pistol was voiced by Nancy Cartwright, and she's the voice of Bart Simpson. And um, I, I remember a lot of the other shows on the Disney Afternoon. I remember watching Bonkers and um, Darkwing Duck. Uh, Tailspin, um, DuckTales, and um, I remember watching like other random cartoons as well, like on ABC. I, re I remember watching, um, well later on I remember watching One Saturday Morning, um, like I remember Recess, Doug, Pepper Ann, and, also, and finally I also remember watching the old, um, I remember watching the cartoons, um, on um, Channel 11. When I was in my early years of grade school, I remember watching The Magic School Bus and Arthur all the time. Those were like my two favorite shows from when I was like in third grade through like about fifth grade. I loved Arthur and I loved The Magic School Bus. They were both good shows. And um, as I got older, I, I started watching more like adult-based shows like The Simpsons and Family Guy and South Park and Seinfeld and Married with Children and Saturday Night Live. But when I was a kid, I mean, I loved a lot of the old, um, I loved a lot of, like, the cartoons and a lot of, like, the kid-oriented programming. And also, there were movies I liked as well, but I'll, I'll save that for my next video. And, um, anyway, um, stay tuned for that.